Here to show us how we can spread sunshine and increase our garden yields is the garden nerd her, herself. It's Christy Wilhelmius here. Welcome. Thank it's good you. to see you back. Thank you yes, very so much. really we can increase the yield of our garden. Yes, sunflowers. we plant sunflowers in the Splain. garden because there's pollen and nectar in those sunflowers and that attracts bees and other pollinators to the garden. And okay. so in the process, they end up uh, increasing our yield. So certain crops like uh, cucumbers and uh, zucchini, they uh -huh. need to be pollinated in order to produce a fruit. And bees do that for us. They're busy little bees. Yes, That's they what they're up to, right? Well, it helps increase the bee population as well, right? That's right, yeah. it does. So it is, um, the pollen in these flowers is food for the bees. Mm -hmm. And so they take the pollen and they their their bodies are covered with fur. And, and that pollen sticks to their fur and they pull it down into little pockets in their legs and those pockets hold the pollen, they take it back to the hive and they either eat it or feed it to the young or give it to, you know. So they have little know, pollen leg storage. warmers on. They do, yeah, they, they do. Little, yeah. So if you yeah. see a bee yeah. with little yellow leg warmers on, I that's never want to get carrying. that close to I me, gonna, but if I do, I'm going to look <laughs> for it. I always thought they were just coming from a class at the <laughs> yeah. gym. Right, they're like, like, like the leg warmers. It's a maniac. Right. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so what are we looking at here? Well, so I actually have some sunflowers springing up in my garden mm -hmm. at home, and, and, I, and it's some of these seeds here, but I don't know actually which ones they are. You can see there's some flowers mm -hmm. there. There are many, many different types of sunflowers. And if you go to Johnny's Seeds, you'll see there's 42, but there are even more than that. So these seeds right here, we're going to plant some of these in the garden. Uh, there's Lemon Queen sunflowers, which have a really high quantity of uh -huh. pollen and nectar for bees. So we're also going to plant these here, which are a totally different variety. These are called Miss Sunshine, and they're so cute and little short, little, little <laughs> yeah, cute. They little. So they only get about 10 inches tall, whereas the Lemon Queens get about 10 feet tall. But so, they all do the same thing. They all attract the bees, which we need. Exactly, to and we need we need bees in our garden because uh, well, we need to give habitat and provide food for bees and pollinators because you know one out of every three to four bites of food that we eat is pollinated by a bee. And so if we can provide uh, something for them to eat, then they will in turn keep us alive on this planet. Can I just take a second to look at the different seeds? Because I'm trying to think, I, I'm well, not sure the ones, ones that I would eat. These, these are the ones, ones we eat. You get to eat those. This but, uh, you know, just to show you the different kinds of sunflowers there are, you know, these are solid black mm -hmm. and or, and these have a little stripe on them. These are white with a gray stripe and these are just solid white. This is a Native okay. American sunflower seed. Really uh -huh. cool. And, and they all range in the way that they look. Some have yellow centers. Some have black centers, some have brown centers, some like my shirt, they have you know burgundy or rust color in them. It's really wonderful. So, so are we gonna plant these? We are, we are right. gonna plant these. So here you need to put oh, on some I'm gonna gloves. take this down because we're gonna plant. Yep, gloves for all. Okay. All right. Look at there. And we we're gonna plant seeds and plants. So bring that on over. We're gonna come right. back here. Don't think that's gonna work. I'm gonna have to go with the bigger ones. Oh, right. Okay. Come on over. So the first thing we're gonna do is plant these in a line. We're taking our short plants and we're putting them in the back. Okay. There you go. In the back. So Little Miss Sunshine, we're going to At the depth, right what here. are we talking about for these? Right, Christy? so you're going to plant these uh, as deep as the root ball, which is about six inches deep. Do I want to open up the root ball at all? You want to break it up a little bit. Yes, Christina, good. There you go. So we're going to break that up a little bit and then backfill the soil and, of course, put a little bit of a ring around it for a, a little moat so when you water you'll have oh. lots of uh, stuff there. Now, I've already poked some holes in the ground for the seeds we're going to put in. Now, now remember, why are you doing that? Why are you putting them in the back of the flowers? Because these guys are going to get about 10 feet tall. So, we want to plant taller ones in back of the shorter oh, ones. I and like so, that. now here, if you give me your hand, I will give you some seeds. And you can sprinkle like one or two of these in each of the holes that you have right here. And they only need to be planted about uh, a half inch deep. And you want to plant your seeds about 12 to 15. 18 inches apart, depending on the variety, mm -hmm. and these seeds will germinate in about 10 to 15 days. Do you have to water this every day? You will want to water this every day, and uh, because the seeds need to stay moist, the whole seed bed needs to stay moist, and then at that point, uh, these seeds will sprout and uh, grow to be their full these height. Expensive to grow? Yeah. Oh. No, they are. Uh, you know, like this one says, it's a dollar eighty-nine, and these are USDA or organic. You can get a lot more seeds for about you know five bucks. 
Here yeah, we go. I was going to say, I've got some extras well, here. Plant I don't the whole garden with it. Right, know, right? exactly. Go. Yeah, and so you, uh, these will mature in between 90 and 110 days, and there you go. You're and you're saving bees, bees, too. That's Absolutely. right. By the way, do bees have knees? Yes, they do. They oh, have lots needs. of You can needs. visit our Pinterest page and connect with Christy at Gardner. 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 .com. It's right there on your screen. <laughs> Gardner. They do, I think. Hey, we're coming back with some important tips on Social Security. If you're not paying attention, it could cost you tens of thousands of dollars.